What is up, Wacky Lure fam? So Valentine's Day is over with, so it's time to get back to the awesomeness. We are going to be building a platypus lure. No, 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 not that platypus lure. I'm talking about the OG platypus. Yeah, that's the right one. The one that they thought was fake back in the day. They thought it was a bunch of animals sewn together. I mean, look at it. It looks like God's failed science experiment. I mean, it is such a unique and different animal. And I cannot wait to turn this thing into a fishing lure. Platypus is such a badass uh, specimen, animal, specimen of an animal. We are going to do platypus facts. So one thing I already know about platypuses is, um, is that they lay eggs. They're one of the few mammals that lay eggs. I know the echidna lays eggs too, and the platypus also lays eggs, and it's a mammal. Pretty crazy. I also knew that they were poisonous, but I did not know that only the males are poisonous. Um, they got the spurs on their back legs, so if you pick up a platypus, son, a male platypus, <laughs> sticky, sticky good. So, it's pretty awesome. And I also read that they're trying to use platypus venom for diabetes, for a cure for diabetes. So, I mean, how awesome is the platypus? I mean, really, it's dope. Here's the design, fam. All right, the front feet are going to be like a paddle boat. Like, heck yeah, freaking paddle boat front feet. We doing that. So this is why I'm putting the, uh, the paddle boat um, thing on the lure is because platypuses swim with their front feet and steer with their back feet. Then you gotta have the floppy tail. I mean, it's a platypoopy. You know what I mean? I mean, you gotta have the floppy tail. And then, uh, the back legs, I think, are just gonna be hanging, flopping around. So, uh, that's what we're working with, fam. So, the crazy thing is, fam, when I got the idea for this fishing lure about a month or two ago, I googled and searched on YouTube looking for a platypus lure that somebody made and I could not find one. And since I was making this video, I went ahead and searched again. And on YouTube, somebody has beat me to the punch. And that YouTube channel is Lure Fusion. He's got some really good content, so uh, go check out his channel. Um, since he beat me to the punch, I, you know, I had to give him a shout out, you know what I mean? So with that said, it's time to get wacky and bring this platypus lure to life. Oh yeah, now we gotta glue these together. Let's uh, swap some spooge on this thing here. Generously. Just like so. Okay, this is uh, the pleasures of working when it's cold. You gotta heat everything up to use it. Right. That, uh, that freaking Gorilla Glue, super, uh, that Gorilla Glue, wood glue, works. It, it, this stuff works really well. I mean, once it goes together, it ain't coming apart. There ain't no way. Now, Jay clamp it. Now to clamp it. You know we gotta clamp it. You gotta clamp it. Put the clamps on that mother. Put the clamps on that mother. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to keep the bottom in one piece and then glue it on. That way I can have it a square edge to cut the top. Thank you. 
Woo! Definitely uh, pushing to the limit of what the screw wheel saw can do. Um, definitely. And you gotta always remember, don't force the blade through. You gotta let the blade cut. Because if you start shoving on it, you're gonna bow it. And then you're gonna get crooked cuts that don't look like that. dust on you a little dusty there <laughs> all right y'all want to see a magic trick let's see if this works <sighs> oh yeah hey look at that and somebody magically drilled the holes in for me <laughs> Now I went ahead and did it real quick before I cut that. Okay, so I think uh, I should have went ahead and cut this when it was square, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this, go ahead and cut the, the tail a little bit and uh, put some carving lines on this bad boy. This bad platypi right here. Platypuses also use their tails for carrying objects and nesting their eggs. Like they use their tails to carry stuff, I mean, I mean, it, it speaks for itself. Platypuses are freaking awesome. I mean, come on. Hey, it was you. Now to get the top the exact same. There's a word for it. I can't think of it right now. Um, symmetrical. Yes. To get it symmetrical. All right. We have the special guest star just hopped in. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. We need to get some kind of weight in the tail. So I don't got much go but I need something in there I think that'll work just the depth of the the big because I gotta have some kind of weight in there for sure
Oh wow, that is working good. There is hardly anything known about them, and this is their debut track. <laughs> so, this one's pretty interesting. Platypus don't have teeth, but when they're born, they're born with pairs of premolars and two pairs of molar teeth. But by the time they leave their burrows, they fall out. And then they're replaced with keratinized pads that help them uh, mechanically crush their food to death. Um, so, yeah. Why would they even be born with teeth? That, that's got to be something from, from the olden days. From the olden days. <laughs> All right, four hours later, here is our sanded platypoopy. Man, I mean, it is looking good. It is freaking looking good. So I need to go ahead and drill these holes in and cut the eyes in um, because I'm going to burn hairs on the whole body and tail of this, and I need to know where those are. So. so platypuses locate their prey using electrical signals. Um, out of all mammals, only egg-laying mammals and one species of dolphin have this special sense called electroreception. I mean, like I said, platypus, dope. Okay, now comes the hard part. Uh, connecting these two dots here. Well, my phone stopped recording in the middle of that because I need to edit some video. I don't have data on my phone, but I got it. <coughs> Good grief. It blew out right there, but I super glued it back and sanded it. The platypus does not have a stomach. Platypuses do not have stomachs. Like many species of fish, so this thing's like a duck, a fish, you know, all this crazy stuff. So like a fish, they don't have the need for a stomach. Their intestines connect to their gullet, which breaks down their food. So it's crazy. Okay, so platypus eyes are pretty much just black freaking beady eyes. So I think I'm going to use these red ones here. But I am going to attempt to uh, dremel all of the red off of them and just leave that black. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Oh yeah. Definitely not gonna be easy. Yeah, that was uh that was tough. Good grief, man. These big sausage fingers can't grab nothing this little. Sheesh. Um, 
um, yeah, that was difficult. And it did go flying, but luckily it landed here. So I think I can live with that. I mean, I know you can't see it because it's freaking teeny tiny, but I think we can live with that. <clears throat> I'm going to carve it in so the eyes are inset. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to eyeball it too. Okay, definitely got to go a little bigger, but <laughs> I mean, that's beady little uh, black eyes. So, hell yeah, I'm on the right track. <laughs> Man, that's sexy right there, for real. Platypuses store their food in special cheek pouches. Um, which is crazy. So they, they, just like squirrels and chipmunks. So this thing is like a fish. It's like a squirrel. It's like a duck. It's like a beaver. I mean, so they, they store it in the special cheek pouches. Then they swim up and then they eat it. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so this is a piece of the... The board I cut off, I sanded it down to match um, the platypus. And these are my three choices. And I think I'm going to go with the, the fur in it out like that. That looks like hair to me. I've never done this before, so uh, wish me luck for sure. Okay, now this one's really funny. Female platypuses don't have nipples. They release their milk um, from pores in their mammary glands. Um, given the popular notion that platypus is sweet milk. Ooh, that platypus is sweet milk. Ooh, gotta get some of that platypus sweet milk. Ooh, what was that Dave Chappelle thing? Um... Cambodian breast milk. Got to get that Cambodian breast milk. Um, it, platypus's sweet milk is funnier. Definitely. Here is the finished hairy platypoopy. <laughs> I am happy with it. Extremely happy with it. So uh, now I got to put a coat of poly on it. Using the uh, polycrylic men wax. I need to get some of that fast drying men wax too, but uh, this stuff works really well for me. So. All right, I'll let that drip off. I mean, platypuses have colicus similar to birds and reptiles which means they defecate they urinate and they reproduce through a single opening so they're also similar to birds and lizards freaking fish dolphins beavers squirrels i mean this thing is a jack of all trades right here jack of all trades platypus Okay, now I got to cut the tail off. We got to make the hardware and we got to make the feet 
Um, and then we got to try to get the, uh, the weight balanced on this thing. Cause I have no idea how it's going to act. I might have to add weight up here too, but we're going to find out. Very gently, very gently. Come on. Well, that works. <laughs> so, platypuses sleep for around 14 hours a day. Um, they have the longest known rapid eye movement, REM sleep, among all animals known today these fools are rimming <laughs> they're rimming for 5.8 to eight hours a day in rim sleep which is a uh, pretty crazy i wonder if they dream for that long man that's a long dream you could live your whole life in that dream so you like my little tape measure <laughs> so i think i'm gonna go a quarter inch in I think that'll be good for the uh, for the hardware. For the hardware. The hardware. There we go. There we go. Start slow too, because like I said, the seat is really soft, so you start the drill bit slow. They're trying to run off just like it did. Just like it did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, now I gotta transfer that to here. Uh, I always keep my extra little twist off of the hardware. So I'm gonna try to use this. Oh, come on now. That way I can line it up like so. That worked pretty good. I can work with that. Like that. And. Heck yeah. Then I should line up with the holes. And they do. Okay, so platypuses knuckle walk like gorillas and anteaters. What animal is this thing not like? Because of their web digits on their feet that help them swim, uh, they walk on their on their knuckles. Crazy. <laughs> Big Daddy. Oh yeah, you can see it start changing color and you know it's time to stop. Shortly after this it'll break, which I have done a few times. Yes, indeed. Okay, so this is sort of what we're working with here. So I got these, um, these little metal things that come with my whopper poppers. So I'm gonna use them um, to shield some of the wood and to keep it spinning pretty good, but it's it's loose, so it should work. I'm gonna try to make the feet out of clay. Um, we'll see how that works out, but uh, let me get the hooks on this thing and we'll see what the weight's gonna be like 
Okay, I hunted everywhere for something uh, big enough to put this in, so this is gonna have to work. But I got all the hooks in it, I got all the hardware in it, so let's see. And that is freaking perfect. Look at the, uh, the hole where the uh, propeller is gonna go. That is perfect. I like it. Hell yeah. Probably put us in the water. Boo boo. You're killing me. <laughs> platypus in water. So the oldest fossil record of a modern platypus dates back to 100,000 years ago. So this thing got a beaver tail, um, freaking platypus milk, laying eggs and stuff like that. And they're just like, we're not going to evolve anymore. We got this down. Yeah, it's sort of like a crocodile or alligator. I mean, they're just that badass. Like, G's at life. Platypuses are G's at their life. Okay, so this is the weight going in the tail. Booyah. And then I got three egg sinkers in there. And that's all you need right there. Bada bing, bada boom. So let's uh, super glue and bacon soda them bad boys in there. <laughs> So platypuses live only in some parts of Australia and Tasmania. There's not that many. Their populations are declining like crazy. So I hope uh, we can have platypuses for as long as we can have platypuses. So uh, yeah, let's help save the platypuses. And I think uh, I think that's gonna do it for the the platypoopy uh, facts for sure. Yeah. Thing that's gonna do it. Well, all right, fam, we got the weight in and we got it sanded down. So that is gonna do it for part one of the beautiful platypus lure. So the music in this video was made by Dead for Reasons. He's on Spotify and he is also on TikTok, Dead for Reasons, all all together. So go check him out. And all I have left to say is that was wacky, and I'll see y'all for round two.